gave that a lot of thought and immediately the first person that came to my mind was my first pastor. Um, I had the privilege of spending a lot of time with him uh, through the years and uh, I know that sounds odd, but he truly, from the pulpit, uh, his life, living his life, he and his wife, um, they were such mentors to so many people. Uh, he preached the word and what he preached, he lived. And I had the opportunity of working with him one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, for a while of time. And every day he would always, when we would meet, he would always take me back to the Word. Um, he was just uh, such a, a big part of my life. Um, honestly, I had two teachers that I remember as well in the church, uh, Bob and Penny Lamb, that were huge. They lived their life um, and what they taught as kids. Uh, I still have things marked in my Bible. I still have remembrances of what they taught that I can take even today. Um, so I guess for me, I never had that one-on-one -on -one person um, that did that. Uh, but my parents also um, were great uh, mentors. My mom, uh, she was my prayer warrior. Uh, but yeah, his, his last name was Benningfield. And Aaron speaks of him often. He calls him Grandpa um, because they didn't have children, and and we actually named Aaron's middle name is after after him because he had such an impact on us. But he <laughs> this wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't the question that was asked. But he lovingly called me. Um, um, I just forgot. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. Anyway, he gave me a nickname that um, he would, that was, that was just something between us. But he always said that um, I went through a, a really hard part in my life. And um, he always told me, God's got something good for you. God's got something good for you. And he said that, um, for a long time, for a year that I remember. But he, um, then when Mark and I got married, he loved Mark. <laughs> Mark was special to him too. But he, uh, he, when Mark and I got married, he said, see, I told you God had something for you. So that was one of the things. But he never, like I said before, he never entered a conversation or left a conversation that he didn't give some um, portion of scripture um, to me, to leave me with, or whatever. And anybody he met with, he always used the Word of God. Uh, so those are just memories. I remember um, as a child, I always wanted to try to do what was right. I didn't always, but I remember um, from a child knowing that I wanted to serve the Lord. I didn't know how that was going to be, but I wanted to serve Him. Uh, and I, I just believe that that was, that the call was on my life young. And um, after I got saved, I, I just knew that that was what I was supposed to do. Uh, like I said, I didn't always follow Him. I, I strayed from Him. But uh, I just, from a child. So, Those were hard times. Um, I, re I remember as a mom, as a wife, those were hard times because um, our family, the whole family was hurt for that. But of course, Aaron and Mindy uh, most, and then us as parents watching what took place at that point and being there, uh, an employee. And, um, but you know what? I, God had a purpose in all of that. Mark and I didn't know why we were sent here, you know, why we, why we came to Nevada, but um, we just said, we'll give it five years. If it doesn't work out, they wanted him to come back and 
uh, to work where he was working before we left, but God had a plan. And um, when you just look back at all the years, uh, we're 21 years here, but when you look back at the plan that God opened, it's like, I'm amazed by it. It's like, okay, now, you know, we, we've seen what God, what his plan was. So for us, it's for me as a mom, um, knowing that the Lord had his hand on Aaron, as a, as a young kid, I, I just knew. And he always mentions that time when he came into the bedroom and he was telling me what is, you know, what God had done in his heart. And I'm like, I know, it's like I've been waiting, you know, I knew that God had his hand on you. And uh, so, and Mindy, I'm just, I'm just amazed by what God has done. And we get to see this, we're so blessed. I just knew that the Lord had something good for him. Um, something that was, uh, could be so impactful. And he wasn't done with him, I knew that. And I, I often think of those days had I um, given in to the anger, because I was angry too. There were things that I you know, had to take to God and uh, many times had to work through. Um, but I'm so thankful for the grace and the mercy of God and how he gently <laughs> brings us to where we need to be sometimes, gently, sometimes not. But um, I think I saw what could be and obviously didn't know all this, you know, what would be, but um, I knew that God had a, a greater path for Aaron than Mindy. Well, um, my parents took me to church. They, they loved the Lord. Um, so from the time I was born, I was in church and uh, we went to Milheim, which is where uh, we call him Benny, uh, preached. And we had been there for, well, I'm not even sure, but I was probably five or six. I don't even know. I always wish I knew when I had accepted him. But I remember sitting in a small chapel in the church there that we had. And uh, Benny would always preach about uh, hellfire and brimstone at different times. He would preach about that. And one thing I knew was that I did not want to die and go to hell. And I just remember being in that um, service. And when it's when I knew I needed to take care of that, mom was on my left side and I turned to her and I said, mom, I, I need to get, I need to go up there. I need to get saved. She turned to my dad, who was on my right side, and uh, he took me up to the altar, and uh, I accepted the Lord then. <laughs> and I'm so glad for that memory of my dad leading me to the Lord. I think it's that last word, action. It's something that, um, it's, it's a, second by second um, growing. It's not just coming to church on a Sunday or, or going to a life group. It is, it is my life outside of here, growing daily, being in the Word, um, because I need that. Uh, I think that it, it has to be put into action. And my life can't be hid. Um, with, with what God has given to me, the gift that he gave to me is salvation. Um, so I, I try my best to, um, to tell others about him when we get the opportunity to do that. Um, but I think it's action. You, you've got to act on what you've been given. And that comes in your daily life uh, here, searching the scriptures, knowing them. I love music. Uh, if that wasn't a passion of mine, I don't think I would be doing what I am. Uh, that passion of music started with my family a long time ago when we were growing up. I had four brothers, and two brothers and two sisters, but uh, we sang together as a family. And every, every Sunday, 
uh, or throughout the, the week there would be music playing. Uh, I would hear quartet music or whatever that was. Uh, Southern gospel music was such a big part of my life, but that love grew. And then, um, but when I realized, uh, well, when the family sang, I realized, or I didn't realize, but um, it was just, I was able to play the piano. and um, So I played the piano for the, the family and uh, I just had a love, a deep love for music. And um, just a few nights ago, so we are just a few nights ago, um, through the night, I wrote this song in my head. I couldn't sleep and we were gone on into Arizona for a couple days. And it was then that I, I literally like wrote this song in my head. And I used to do that years ago. And most of the times I would get up and write those songs down. And I didn't this, this past week, but uh, I've got a passion stirring again to begin to write music. I thought about writing songs for the praise team and stuff. So uh, my passion is that, but my passion is also um, to see my grandkids following the Lord, uh, making sure that they um, see something in me, see something in uh, Mark that we're, they can hold on to. Um, because I don't know if all of my grandkids are saved. Um, I have some that are not here with us, but those are the ones that I have such a, a deep uh, longing for that they come to know the Lord, not only know Him, but to follow Him and to serve Him. So that's a passion. Teaching, I love to teach my students at school. Um, that's a passion that I have. <laughs> so, And it was Catbird. He called me Catbird. <laughs>